Good morning, people of God, and welcome to Prayer and Devotion on this Monday. Today is Monday, March 4th, and starting off today with that was Imagine the People of God um, uh, by Mark Miller and the New Haven Collective and featuring Cassandra Kellum. I hope you enjoyed that as we start this week together. It's good to be with all of you. Today we're going to be... Um, looking at 1 John 4 again, um, and talking about reflecting God's perfect love, reflecting God's perfect love. It is good to start this week off with all of you. Let me say good morning to you. Good morning, Janet, and good morning, Daniel. I'm glad you're both with us today. Praying for you this morning. Um, Daniel, will be, we're um, all praying for Pastor Joe as he comes before the Board of Ordained Ministry this week. So praying for your pastor. Uh, and I'm glad you're with us today. Good morning, Celia and Donna. It's good to have both of you here. Praying for you this morning. And good morning, Blanca and Barbara. I'm glad you're here holding you both in prayer today. Good morning, Lanetta and Priscilla. It's good to have you both here. Praying for you today. Good morning, Alan, Debbie. I'm glad you're with us. Praying for each of you today. And good morning, Marilyn and Deb. I'm glad you're here. Uh, praying for each one of you this morning. 
And good morning, Augusta. I'm glad you're here with us too. I'm holding you in prayer and your family. So welcome. Okay, so today we're looking at 1 John 4 again, and I'm going to be reading verses 7 through 12. So 1 John 4, 7 through 12. So as you're opening up your Bibles, my name is Cindy Stauffer. I'm blessed to serve as the pastor at the United Methodist Church at New Brunswick. And uh, it's always good to start the day off with all of you. So let's let's jump right into it. 1 John 4, beginning in verse 7, says this. Beloved, let us love one another, because love is from God. Everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, for God is love. God's love was revealed among us in this way. God sent his only son into the world that we might live through him. And in this love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the atoning sacrifice for our sins. Beloved, since God loved us so much, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God. If we love one another, God lives in us and his love is perfected in us. So to, good morning, Lisa. I'm glad you're with us praying for you this morning. Today's devotion comes from Henry Nouwen's Bread for the Journey, and it is entitled, Reflecting God's Perfect Love. He says, God's love for us is everlasting. We talked about that the other day. That means that God's love for us existed before we were born and will exist after we have died. It is an eternal love in which we are embraced. Living a spiritual life calls us to claim that eternal love for ourselves so that we can live our temporal loves for our parents, our brothers, our sisters, our teachers, our friends, our spouses, and all the people that become a part of our lives. We live that love as reflections or refractions of God's eternal love. No fathers or mothers can love their children perfectly. No husbands or wives can love each other with unlimited love. There is no human love that is not broken somewhere. When our broken love is the only love we can have, we are easily thrown into despair. But when we can live our broken love as a partial reflection of God's perfect, unconditional love, we can forgive one another our limitations and enjoy together the love we have to offer. Oh, Henry Nowen. Um, so, uh, I, I was just talking about this on Saturday, I think it was Friday or Saturday, um, about how our love for one another is imperfect. And so I think often we expect, we have expectations on the people that we love that will do it perfectly. We also have that expectation on ourselves, um, and it is hard. It is really hard because some days we don't. Some days we do it really well, but some days we just don't. And we know it, you know, when we've, when we're all, when we're tired, when we we're doing a lot or, or we just are going through grief in our life or whatever reason it may be, there are some days that we do not love well. We do not love God well. We do not love ourselves well. We do not love our neighbor or our friends or our children or our spouses the way that we have been loved. 
But when we can look at this as a reflection or a refraction, if we know that perfect love that God is, if we know that love, right? We, we've got to be paying attention and understanding just how deep God loves. When we know that love um, and we can live it as a reflection, then not only do, do we not beat ourselves up when we don't do it well, but we also offer forgiveness and understanding to our friends or our partner when they don't love us perfectly. And we can always come back to God's perfect love. I mean, that's the love that sustains us when everything else around us may fail. It is God's perfect love that sustains us and reminds us and let us be a little gentler on ourselves as well. It is that love that will keep us. So today I want to encourage you to, to be gentle. Be gentle with yourself, but also with the people around you. And take time to, to thank them for loving you. Uh, who does that? But we should. We should do that. Thank you for your love. It means a lot. Thank you for being a part of my life, for loving me when I'm having a really tough day, for forgiving me. Um, who are the people in your life? Um, I wrote down the opening song was Imagine the People of God, and it ends with um, being God's love being God's love. I mean, that's the goal that we're seeking. It may not be the fullness of God's everlasting, eternal love, but it is a reflection of God's love. And when we can do that with one another, imagine what our world could look like if we could actually love with even just a reflection of God's love for us. So who are the people that you want to say thank you today. Thank you for loving me. Simple as that. Thank you for loving me. Maybe it's your mother or your child or your brother, your best friend or whoever it is. I want to invite you to do that today. I think that that's a really important uh, thing that we can do is to 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 be not only to love one another but thank other people thank you for loving me when i am not always lovable there are days that i am unlovable thank you for loving me even on those days let's pray god you have loved us with an everlasting love before our first breath and after our last. Your love embraces each one of us and holds us. It does not let us go. We acknowledge there are days that we fail at loving. We do not love you with our whole heart. We do not love ourselves. And we are not good at loving our neighbor. We see it all around the world. We wonder, why can't we love each other the way that you have loved us? But I wonder, God, if you can give us all we need today to not be perfect love, but to be a reflection of your perfect love. Lead us when we are tired. Encourage us when, when we are um, held back by our own insecurities and fears. Remind us again and again that we are loved. And give us uh, the boldness to speak up speak up words of love, not only for you, not only for our neighbor, 
but Lord, help us to speak words of love to ourselves, to forgive ourselves when we do not love fully and to lead us back onto a path, a path of loving the way that you have loved us. Imagine, Lord, imagine what your people might look like. Imagine the people of God when we could love the way that you have shown us, if only partially. Thank you, Lord, for your love. We ask all of this in your name, Lord Jesus, as together we pray the prayer that you taught your disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. So today, who are the people that you are going to thank for loving you? Who are the people you're going to give a call and say, hey, thanks for loving me. Even when I'm not very lovable, thank you for loving me. Um, so today at 10 a.m., I totally forgot about this, but I am doing a coffee with the pastor at the Somerset Diner at 10. If you want to come and join me for a cup of coffee at 10, that would be wonderful. I'd love to see you. Um, the other thing is tomorrow I will do prayer and devotion uh, and then I'm getting on the road for a three-day um, Board of Ordain ministry retreat. So uh, Wednesday and Thursday are going to be recorded devotions, but um, there will be devotions for Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, and then I'll be back in person on Friday. Yeah, it's one of those weeks. But um, pray for pray for me. Pray for the Board of Ordain ministry. Pay for, pray for Pastor Joe. Um, he'll be coming up before us. But uh I will uh, see you tomorrow morning, and anyone that wants to join me at 10 a.m., I'll be at the Somerset Diner. So have a blessed day. God loves you, my friends, and so do I.